Okay. Use this. Let's go to the factory. Hmm. Still don't know how to do the thing like uh, with the ghost guy. Talk to the clown. Hey, creepy clown. Why do you swear so much? Why do you swear so much? Uh. Why do you swear so much? Why do you swear so much? <laughs> Why do you swear so much? Uh. Okay, hate to say this, but we could all work together. I hate to say this, but maybe we could all work together. Sure, after I get a an apology for the illegal suspicion. I just need to check one box, and you're in there with Willie. Fine, I'll help break into the factory, but hands off my comeback doll. Like I care about a doll. Okay. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure. Okay, so let's go to Molder. Find evidence, find that, uh, fix that watch, get into the pillow factory. Maybe we will get like the, the things in the uh, uh, pillow factory. Look at my keycard for hotel room. Let me go to the hotel first and see if the ghost can talk to us. Okay, you're here. You. Oh. Oh, I'm, you know, really dead. Yes. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell. Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Hint. Hint. Try to talk to Dolores. Yes. We need to try to talk to Dolores. The elevator isn't on this floor. Uh, there are no stairs. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna zap this. Zap it. Okay, while you do that, you are going to go to the hotel. And also, let's just go over here. And I'm just gonna be standing like that. And I'm gonna save as well. Okay, so. This is the ghost. Ooh. Can I go to the penthouse? I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Interesting. We got into the penthouse. Flow to secret entrance. I feel warped just looking at those strange runes. They like have some sort of, you know, power over me. I'm gonna despair. Turn lemons into lemonade? I don't even like lemonade. I'm gonna blow on. Can I splash it? Oh. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to... Yeah, this, you cannot enter this. Look at this, interesting. Okay, we got a glowing crystal, we got a view and a window. Great view, I can see everything from here. Stay away from my crystal. Okay. Can Stay I away it? from my crystal. Okay, this is with your crystal. Better than the view from the balcony. Mm. 
That's interesting. I'm gonna talk to Dolores. Zap this. And zap. First floor. Love. Ding, 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 ding. This is a pretty weird game. You can play as a ghost. And you have other characters to play with. Okay, so here's Dolores. Can I talk to Dolores? Dolores, it's me, Dad. Uh, Dolores, can you see me? Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a, a hug and say I'm sorry. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. Really proud of you. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I had stood up to I Chuck. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Try to talk to Dolores. Hmm. Okay, switch to Dolores. Look at the fountain. There, there's the ghost right here. I have no idea what they are doing. Okay, I don't know. The doors are closed. Can you open this? Can you push? Okay, let's see. We're going up. I don't know if this is going to work. It worked. And we're an achievement. Sky Who's that high. now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. Okay, we're here. It's a door, but with strange symbols on it. Okay, can I open this? A book. A book. Secret light switch. Looks fine to me. Use it. Look at this. There's a book. Uh, switch to the ghost. Use the... Zap this. Zap this. Mulder, let's go. Go help the, the ghost. There's a the ghost right there. You can barely see it, but it's right there. Okay. And, oh. I was hoping to be able to, like, switch. Okay. We're getting people here. That's good. So it was not in the past act that we were supposed to go to the um, penthouse. It was in this act. Okay, here we are. Now. Zap this again. Zap the thing. I'm gonna despair. My toys will never get made. I'm gonna moan. Oh. There we go. It's a boohoo list. No, this is, it's not a to do list, it's a boohoo list. Hashtag pawn. Can I enter this now? Yes, I can. Look at this, it's a portal. I am outside Looks like the hotel. Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. 
visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. There's a lot of stuff here. Go to the rest of the cemetery. Flow to flowers. Flowers left over from a funeral. Flowers left over from a funeral. Flowers left over from a funeral. Okay. Flowers left over from a funeral. Okay. Flowers left over from a funeral. Okay. How much did Brother Chuck spend on this ostentatious tomb? I don't know. It's a heavy wrought iron gate to Brother Chuck's tomb. I see a switch inside. Okay, we're here. Can I zap this switch? And now it's open. And people can enter. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. Maybe. Can I zap this? You never respected me, Chuck. I'm tired of you pushing me around. I'm just zapping you. I'm tired of you pushing me around. I'm gonna blow on this. I had good ideas if you would have given me a chance. Try to drag escape to the afterlife. Okay, we are in the cemetery. Wail, moan, splash, despair. Talk to. Okay, what do we have here? The view. And there's a crystal here and there's a ghost there. Great view. I can see everything from here. Better than the view from the balcony. Mm-hmm. Can I talk to Dolores? Well, thanks for chatting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Is there a cemetery here? Hotel, Vista, Old Circus, Cemetery. There it is. Okay, we are in the cemetery now. There we go. Completely haunted. Okay, okay. We need the ghost to open up here. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm just walking around, but... Okay, here we go. There we go. Come on, bro. Come on. Enter the tomb. It's Chuck Edmund's sarcophagus. Serves him right. And it's it? much too heavy to open. And I don't think I want to anyway. Hmm. Escape to the afterlife. I don't think there's anything here. And you? Can I use the switch? The switch is stuck. It seems to have been recently welded in place. Interesting. Push the cup. It's much too heavy to open. And I don't think I want to anyway. It's much Ooh. too heavy to open. It's much too heavy to open. And I don't think I want to anyway. Talk to. Pick it's up. much too heavy to open. It's much open. too heavy to open. Give close. Fortunately, it's already closed. Creepy enough. It's Chuck Edmund's sarcophagus. Serves him right. Okay. Well, let's go to the factory. Everybody now assemble at the factory. Okay, you stay here. Now, you. Evening, Ransom. Evening, jackass. Flow to cemetery. Go to the rest of the cemetery. Some weird power is keeping me close to the portal to the hotel. I can't weird. get over there. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna float to the portal then. Talk to Dolores. I love you, Dolores. I'm very proud of you. I wanna moan. Oh. Okay, we're good here. So, 
Let's just go to Dolores and she's going to do this and go to the old factory. Well, we help the ghost get the talk to the the, the chalk. Okay, so Hi, we are Agent here. Reyes. Hello, everybody. Everybody's having fun tonight. So, can I open the thing? It's locked. Okay. Can I open Looks this? Looks like I need a key for that. I need a key. Get inside the get key to factory gate. Where could I get the key to the factory gate? I'm sorry. We're just gonna. I'm gonna switch to Scully and get the key to the factory gate. I'm gonna use a hint. Could be in the mansion. Mansion. Welcome back to the Hint Tron 3000. Hey, Gladys. How can I help you? I need a hint. Uh, oh, look at this. Something about lawyers and wills. Um, something in the hotel and Thimblecon. The lawyer. This one. Finding a lawyer. Someone was talking to a lawyer earlier. Perhaps they know him. Yes. Ransom has a lawyer's business card. It may be on his cork board. Yeah, I tried that. Look him up in the phone book under Brandt Bailiwick and call him. I did that and it did not work. Thank you. Goodbye. Bull crap. That is the bullcrap. I did that. That's so weird. Okay, let's go to the Dolores and go to the mansion mansion. I did that. I I did the thing. Okay, now it's over here. Perhaps I messed up the, the number. Okay, use the thing. B. So. Uh. This is fifteen twenty five. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling all cosplay legal issues. Stop by my booth. We need to go th to th ThimbleCon. Fine lawyer in ThimbleCon. Yep. Yeah. And I need to find the lawyer in Thimblecon. Can I talk to Lenore? Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? We're I done. think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay, so how do we get the radio? Let's talk. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to use another hint. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How I can know, I help you? Yes, I know about the contest, but... Um, the hotel in Thimblecon. I need Thimblecon hints. How do I get a ticket? Start by looking around for posters advertising Thimblecon. Look at the posters. Another hint. You can also talk to the hotel manager about Thimblecon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. That's pretty much it. So, let's go to the hotel. And we need the four tickets to Thimblecon. I didn't remember it was in Thimblecon. Uh, I mean, it was in the hotel. Hey, bro. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? Boo? 
Like some tickets for Thimblecon. I'd like some tickets for Thimblecon. I'm sorry. We only have Thimblecon tickets for K-Scumaboo contest winners. You should listen to K-Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? Mm, that's going I'm going to, to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening. Uh, win ticket to ThimbleCon. Yes, this was calling it. all geeks. ThimbleCon '87 is now open. Okay, okay. ThimbleCon is open. There's a there's a dragon over here. Hey, bro. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a How ticket? How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Okay. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Hmm. Bye. Shut up in there. Welcome to ThimbleCon 87. Later tonight, Ransom the Clown Lookalike Contest. Big prizes. Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to get everybody over here. Where You see, win tickets to the thing. We need to go all everybody going to the hotel. And there's radios there. Yeah, you see win tickets. Everybody moving to the hotel. We are going to do this, people. We're gonna do this. Don't leave town. That's my room, 604. So, use this. And you, in the meantime... Yeah. Mm. Hotel. 604. Twelve. Oh, one. Okay, so Scully is closer. 604? Was that your ticket thing? 604. Okay. There it is. It's locked. Yeah, well, use the freaking key, lady. Okay, turn on this thing. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. We have four more free ThimbleCon 87 tickets you can win. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. Let's see in the book. K? Is it here? There it is, 7286. So, 7286. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Reagan. That's correct. Here's your second question. Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? Michael J. Fox. You got it right. And your final question, Fill in the blank. This is your brain. This is drugs. Blank. 
This is your brain on drugs. You got it. Let's see how you did. You got three out of three. A perfect score. Yes. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Nice. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. We did What's it. What's your name? Uh, my name. Yes, Agent Scully. I am... Uh, Cindy Loper. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Okay, Cindy Loper. Let's go over here. And we need Ransom the Clown for the Ransom the Clown lookalike contest. Hey, bro. I'm Cindy Loper. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? A boo. There will should be some uh, Thimblecon tickets in my name. There should be some Thimblecon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the K Scumabu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Cindy Loper. Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be Abu of service? Um, nothing. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, a boo. So you, get over here. Okay, and Dolores, get over here. And ghost guy, escape the afterlife, trying to talk to Dolores, escape the afterlife. Oh, zap this. Okay, it's coming from the lobby. Good. So, in the meantime, you give one of these to Thanks Dolores. Give one of these to the clown. More. And give one of these to Mulder. Oh, I love carrying stuff. We're good. Now, let's go over here. Zap this, enter here, zap this, and go to the lobby. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're doing this, people. We're getting, we're getting everybody on deck tonight. Okay. Go over here. Just gonna save a little bit. Yes. Can you like enter this? Shut up in there. Oh, look at this. You can enter without a thing. Good. Look at the bar. A dime again. a dozen. Pew, yeah. pew, pew. Awesome. Look at spaceship, float to spaceships in bottles. Teeny tiny spaceships in bottles. Yes. Oh, jewelers tools. Tiny tools for working on starships and bottles and jewelry. This is what we needed. Okay. Everybody people. Go up there. You go up there. And you go up there. Okay, enter. Shut up in there. You'll never be able to fill a CD-ROM with game data. No? Ah! None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Okay, here's my ticket. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, 
prosper. Prosper. Okay, we're here. So, let's pew, see. Pew, pew. Okay, the, the lawyer is back there. Uh, can I talk to talk, Can I talk to Sexy Riker? Here's Sexy Riker. She she can't see him. Starships in bottles, handmade. Uh, how do you make the starship so small? How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? Despite not having the requisite plus five dexterity to wield them, I might loan you the tools if you can get me some dinner. Okay. What do you want in exchange? What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Hamburger then. Okay, you go over here. Drinks. What is this? Puzzle dependency chart. Pew, pew, pew. Look at it. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Mm -hmm. Cutting edge computer technology. Cutting edge. I want to talk to Gary. Pew. Not sure what I'd talk to them about. I don't know. Okay, you enter. You're here. And Scully. Enter. Oh, look at this. Batman. Vending machine. A new Coke vending machine. Can I use it? It only sells new Coke. And no one wants that. Ooh, the shade. They're comics, D&D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. No touching. Can I pick They're it up? comics, D&D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. No touching. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I don't know what D&D is. That's a lie, but... I don't know what D&D is. Okay. I don't read comics. Okay. She's sassy. Goodbye. Okay, let's go to Dolores and talk to this guy. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What Hello. brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. Good. That was weird. Okay. I'm gonna go to the Mansion Mansion. Well, people stay over there in the in the con. Okay. Here we are. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before yes. we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, yes. the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, okay. crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Okay, so. Uh, the crypt, uh, Chuck's will for the lawyer, get a thimbleberry uh, pie for the lawyer. I think I have that. So. Can I give this to the lawyer? Mr. Balowick, here's the uh, freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie, and the tomb is opened. You still need to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Yes, we opened the tomb like we didn't even know, but we opened the tomb. What is that? There's a pixel. Speck of dust. 
Can I pick it up? Sorry. It's a speck of dust. Can I pick it up? I got a speck of dust. Get inside the, uh, the crypt chucks, collect 39 more speck of dust? What the hell? Yeah, I, I don't know about the 39 more speck of dust. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm seeing another one. Right there. You see? Right there. Picking it up. Thirty-nine more. This is weird. Okay, open that one. There's another one over there. Pick up the speck of dust. Some sort of uh, Easter egg. So use the wheel with the computer. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. What? That is weird. Get inside the pillar factory, get... Okay, I think we need to go to Thimble with Con, whatever. There was a state-of-the-art computer there. We, we should use that. We should use that. There's another speck of dust. Now that I know what I'm looking for, I should be able to get them when I see them. Shut up! Okay. So. Pew, pew, pew. Can I use this with this? It doesn't work with that. No? Tell the secret, collect 36 more. Oh, it's a global thing. Get key to factory gate. Okay, I need, I'm gonna use a hint, you know? I'm gonna screw around thinking about, about that. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? I need to decode the thing. Something about the lawyers. Will stipulations. Need to decode Dolores the Dolores is a game programmer. She has some useful stuff in her room. Yes, I was there. If you look at the will, she will tell you some clues. Another hint. Try using the ASCII chart to decode the will. It might give you some hints. You gotta be a freaking ki kidding me. Thank you. Goodbye. I used the computer and not the ASCII thing. That's the bullcrap. You see, that's why sometimes you need the hints. Because it was something that we tried. Should have worked. But no, you need to use the the thing, the, like the Diaski chart. Which, like I said, if you what are you doing, dog? Stop digging in the hole. Okay, so use this thing there. I'll need more than a chart to decode this, like maybe a powerful Commodore sixty four. Okay. What is this? It doesn't work with that. Okay, can I pick it up? Look at this. It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. I didn't know I had this. Use this. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. Nice. Use this, this. It is now supercharged. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. I think that's a pun. Short 50 minutes of coding and decoding later. Okay, I charge Edmund hereby of sound mind and body do hereby declare this my last will and testament, revoking any and all wills previously made by me. I declare that I am making this last will and testament of my own will. I declare that I have no children, natural of adopted. I got a single brother, Franklin. He has two offspring, Lenore and, and Dolores. Hereby upon bank, Bailey, JD, executor of my will, and direct that he serve with bond. Okay. 
I did it! It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, bro. I got the thing. I'll give this to you. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. Yes. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Yes. Part 5. The Reading. Now, all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. Yes. I will now read his will. Stop I, digging. Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under, and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding! What? Ooh, <laughs> Doug Lake's farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. In the meantime, Safely First Savings now has possession of the Pillow Factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print: Dolores gets a Pillowtron 3000 T-shirt. This is as much as you'll ever get from Pillowtronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Nice. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Thank you. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Part 6. That was a short part. The factory. Something is very wrong here. Yes. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Indeed. I have a Pillowtronics thing. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. I don't know. Maybe the AI, you know? Let's go to the saving things to the, for the factory. There it is. What do we have? Prestigious sign. Impressive. Yes. It's just after five o'clock. Okay. It's a promotional bank flyer. Pick one up. Open an account today and get a free toaster. Nice. Toasters. Always good. Hey, bro. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is this an obscene phone call? Most likely. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Why do you think you can waste my time like It's this? a small wooden animal fig. One of those fancy new wires. Ugh, they hung up. I almost had them long enough to get a trace on the call. Yes. And I had the key now. I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. This one is a cheap painting. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our okay. hand. See ya. I'm going to the abandoned factory. I have the key. Okay, so I'm gonna use the key in the padlock and chain. The key fits. It did. Yes. Now we enter. Okay, let's switch back to this. To do. Collect 36 more specks of dust. Okay. Break into the pillow factory. Good. What is this? Look at the robot pirate. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Hey, King Jones. Action figures. Kids yes. love them. The one of a South African soccer player looks just like the vendor. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. I, I don't want to pick that up. Okay, this guy wants a burger. Books on UFOs, animation, and puppies. Yes. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. 
Uh, fix that watch. I am going to go and get a burger. Over here. This is the only place I know about the, with burgers. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important... What can I do for you, honey? Uh, I'd like to, order, like some to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I have a hamburger. I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad. And I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. Okay, well, I have a... Um... I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, I guess, I guess I'm, not, I'm hungry. not hungry. Bye for Bye. now. Anytime. Look I get sick things. just looking at it. No it way am I going to eat another one of those. Okay, so everybody needs to eat one. Interesting. There's four. Everybody needs to eat one. And everybody's gonna get sick. Talk to no the lady. Stay okay. out of my way, and Reyes. you might learn I mean, something. Mul Mulder, move over here. Okay, and everybody in the meantime is going to just fast travel to this. Okay, you can cut across here, you know. Okay. Talk to the lady. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Hey, stop being sassy. Um, not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just you. wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. You talking about me? No. Shut up! Dave! Yeah, shut up, Look, Dave! writing you out of the will was a dick move. But I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop, and vanishing for days. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I'd food. like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Okay. Not going to be good. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. Yes. I, uh... Gotta go. Bleh. Oh. <sighs> I feel better now. Yes. Okay, so you. What can I do for you, honey? Food. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything is on the menu board. What do you want? Hot I'll dog. have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Disgusting mechanic. If you eat ask. up, hun, while it's still hot. <laughs> Ew. Oh my, that is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. And another one puking. Nice reach, by the way. Nice uh, reach. I feel better now. Yes. Okay, now we need the clown. No. No, what the crap? Okay, I don't know. Oh, well. I sent her to the abandoned factory. No. I sent her, like, there. Okay, you're in the abandoned factory. Let's just go to the clown. I don't think there's anything else that we need. Silence, Pock. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Use this. So, go over here, open this. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Uh, you can legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. 
You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, Ransom. Shut up, Dave. Shut up, Just Dave. Just order your food and get lost. Okay, sorry. Uh, I want of the hot dogs. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... There I hope it you is. choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. I, uh... Gotta go! Ew. <sighs> I feel better now. It's so disgusting. Okay, now... We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Okay. Now I need what a burger. What can I do for you, honey? I want some I'd food. like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? The burger. I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Thank Dave, you. burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready! Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. What? Here you go, hon. Thank you. So, now we use this, and we go to the hotel. You see, point and click games. You go, you do the things, and you click around, and you go and solve the puzzles. Okay, so I'm going to give the hamburger to this guy, pew, sexy pew, pew. Thanks, that's exactly what I wanted. Good. It's delicious and moist. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Mm. And moist. I... Uh, 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 okay. I have to go to my room. Sorry. Okay. Now I'm gonna pick them up. And now I'm gonna go over here. And now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go up. And I'm going to give this to Willie. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. Yes. And I'm going to give the pocket watch I'm to innocent. Willie. I know. Can you fix this watch? No, you're an innocent. You fix the bag? I, I promise you you're innocent. If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Yes, I prove it. Here's my watch for you to fix. Okay, hand it over. Okay, fix it. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. So, it is fixed. Nice. So, now we go to the factory. Okay. And everybody wants different things with the factory. Like the clown wants to fight the prototype of the doll. And Mulder wants to fight evidence his dad didn't have to do anything with the fire. And Dolores wants to find something like uh, what happened to dad, I'm guessing. Uh, so everybody assemble at the abandoned factory. Oh, and um, Scully wants the info for that, the Japanese corporation that's paying her. Okay, let's go over here. What do we have? A time clock. Okay. Five, five. Okay, and it says two. Door. It's locked, and there's no handle. Okay. Archway. 
going round three. Five oh five. There's a door here. Look at this. It's a map of the abandoned factory. Yes. That doesn't seem to work. And we get stuff. What is this? Handbook. This is probably filled with clues and puzzle solutions. Oh, nice. Can I use it? Security handbook. Uh, very important to us. A breach of security is a breach of us. When making the rounds, be sure to check into each security box within five minutes of the last box. When the correct time is entered, the station light will turn green. If the factory AI is engaged, it's important to never enter the factory unless the SR01s have been disengaged. Okay, any death of this member, failing to check in the proper times could result in factory lockdown. If the factory lockdown occurs, the PF01 master tube needs to be reset. CEO is the only one with the proper instructions for resetting the PF01. For security and time code information, call 4753. Okay, 4753. So, you're gonna stay here in number two and you're gonna call 4753. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 2.25. Okay, but this is not Station 1, you know? Hmm. I don't have anything here. Okay, so... Nothing here. It's my father's old pocket watch. Good as new. Okay, good. Pilotronics. Pilotronics. The mechanized pillow factory of the future. Established 1954. I see someone shot up the pillow man. A little bit. They're lights. The doors are locked and there's no place for a key. This is station one. It's a door trunk 3000 and it seems to be functioning. Okay. Big tube. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Okay. Can I pick it up? I don't want to pick that up. Okay. Okay. So. This is number one. Scully's are number two. You should be at number three. Which should be like in this direction and over here. Stop with the squeaky things. What is this? It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It's now okay. in the off position. Can I use it? Huh? Okay, it crashed there. In a little bit of mess. But this is number four. Okay. I guess we are good with this. What is this? Anti-itch cream. Oh, okay. So you. No, you. Look at this thing. For security and time code. Okay, 4753. Okay. Can I push this? Hmm. Huh. Nothing happens. Okay. So anybody has like a big tube for this? Uh, 
Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 2.25. Yeah, but the thing is that I don't know how to do that. Because this is Station 1. Big tube. I can't pull that. Can it's a it? pretty big vacuum tube. I, I don't up? want to pick that up. Can I look at the doors. The doors are locked, and there's no place for a key. Mm. Okay, what else is the walk to picture? Oh, look at this. This is a molder. Nice photo. Yes. I am going to take you all the way. You're going to be here, and Mulder is going to go to the security station. Mulder, go to the security station. Go over here. Is there anything else here? No. Look at the thing. I was cute as a kid. I yeah. miss dad. There's his watch in the photo. It Pick would it be nice to have this photo of my family. I'll leave it here as evidence until after we're all done. Okay. It's a map of the abandoned factory. Okay. I'm a little bit lost, so let's just hint. Hint. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. Hello. How can I help you? I need a hint. Get in the factory. Security times. How do I get security times correct? You've already picked up something with instructions in it. I Read know. the security handbook for instructions. Yes. Another hint. How to use the watch. The security clocks need to be set to times that are five minutes apart. Start at box one. Call the number provided in the handbook and then place the watch into the watch-shaped hole. Use the knobs on the watch to make it read the time that was given by the security message. Go to box 2 and do the same, but make it 5 minutes later. Repeat for boxes 3 and 4. Thank you. Goodbye. I need to use uh, the... I need to use the, the... That's why you need to use the, the watch. Mulder's uh, father's watch. Uh, what was the name? Uh, you see? Five minutes of the last box. 4753. Okay, let's go to Scully. 4753. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 2.25. Okay, 2.25. Okay, so now we go to Mulder. This is 3. So, 1. Uh, and I just forgot the... Sorry. I forgot the, the proper time. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is... 2.25. Oh yeah, good. Okay, so... You use this here. So, how do I move this? Oh, with this. One, two. So, 25. So, the next one is... Oh, crap! So, 25. 
So the next one is 2.30. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. Yeah, pick it up. Now we go to the next one. 2.25. 2.30. This is number two. Two thirty-five. Come on, come on, come on. This one. Okay, and two forty. Two forty over here. Okay, move. Open. Okay, now we go inside. Uh, use the big button. The doors moved a little, but stopped. They must be stuck. Okay. That doesn't open any further. They're now unlocked. Open them. It opened just a little more. Okay, I need help. Come on. Come on, Scully. Help, help. This is probably to get all characters here, you know? Open the doors. It opened a little more. Yep, it's to get everybody here. Nice mechanic. Okay, Mulder. I think someone could squeeze through now. Okay. So, you... And you squeeze through, you got a big head and a get a balloon. I think someone can squeeze through the opening now, but it's not gonna be me. Okay. No way I'm the first one through that door. Okay, so Dolores. Reset. Damn. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, you open that. What's wrong with your arms, bro? It moved! Nice. Open. It opened a little more. Okay. Open. I think someone could squeeze through now. Yeah, now you squeeze. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. Do it. Wow. Holy Exactly. Oh, you said it, clown. This can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Part 7. The Madness. <laughs> Those look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. Hey, shut up, Ransom. Nothing here. Walk to the lower level. Nothing here. Okay, corridor. Nothing here. Walk to the corridor. AI head. Why would Uncle Chuck need to make a human looking robot AI? I don't know. What was Uncle Chuck doing before he died? I don't know. Why are all these computers on? 
I don't know. It continues to the... Okay. Uncle Chuck was up to something. Yeah, also there's a spec here. Not really specs all over the place, but... I don't know. These computers shouldn't be powered on. Mm-hmm. Installing virus. Virus installed. Pick up another spec. Why are you installing a virus? virus? Uncle Chuck must have been trying to cause damage to something. Yeah. Water fountain. Mm -hmm. That picture looks familiar. Kind of like Thimbleweed Park without any buildings. Maybe. It's a door. It is a door. It's a door. Can you open it? Okay, that's one open. That's good. Exit. This must be a way out. Indeed. What is this, a hat? Great protection from UVA and UVB. Very important for pirates. Indeed. Pick it up. Pick it up. What a great hat. Hmm. Oh, journal. Part that two. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Okay. And I will shake away the cloudy skies with the California lullaby. And when you're frozen with desire, we'll put our toes up to the fire. And I will sing your cares away. So let me take you back to paradise. All you gotta do is close.